Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, today is the last day of June. The half of the year is already gone. And I was talking to someone and they said, we have to start thinking about Christmas and putting our Christmas presents and ordering our Christmas things, cards. It's like amazing. We haven't even done 4th of July and someone is talking about Christmas. What is going on? We're constantly pushing ourselves into the future. It's, and then we would go into places that we want to do meditation and center ourselves and to be present. So I think that's like a dichotomy. Um, so for all of you who are here, thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up on Heal Talk Tuesdays. Uh, this is Lisa. And for those of you who do not know me, uh, by trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, a stress management consultant, and so many call me as my, um, they say, my confidence booster. Hmm. Today, we're going to be talking about confidence and self-esteem and what is the difference. So as the, the last few days, it's been back to back. And I don't know how life is for you, what's going on. By the way, I just want to say, those who are here, um, if you are here, if you are present, uh, unless you don't put anything uh, right there, said I is here, say, I was going to say, unless you write something, I have no clue if you are here. Hello, said John. How are you? Sorry, we missed each other last night. I fell asleep. <laughs> so um, it's good. It's good to be present. It's good to be right here. And this COVID thing is prolonging and uh, prolonging in itself. And I know so many are already out and about, but there are so many who are shying away coming out because of fears, because of COVID, because uh, there is so many different statistics of uh, that it's increasing. And here's my question to you. How are you doing? How are you handling this? Are you still protecting yourself? Are you staying home? Or are you out and about and functioning maybe not a hundred percent but you are going out you are meeting with friends you are going out and working uh, hello Karine hello Adrian Christmas is a good thing to think and prepare for yes uh, Christmas is a good thing because for so many and not everyone Christmas is a good feeling because when we think about Christmas, we think about presents, we think about the Christmas tree, hope, gratefulness, family. And yet there are those who just the thought of Christmas, they cringe. Maybe not because of family, yeah, well, actually, maybe because of family, either they don't have family or Christmas is not always a good feeling for them. So when we want to generalize, it's like a, if a client comes in and says, well, I've heard that through hypnosis and hypnotherapy, I can lose weight. But that's a generalization. So everything in life, we cannot say 100% of this or that is a good feeling or it's a good thing. And yet, what we make out of life, what we make out of everything is up to us. 
So I wrote something here, and here's today's topic, is choices create change. And what I mean by that is like anything that you want to make a change, let's say the holidays, but it's not necessarily the holidays, it's how you connect to the holidays. It's your choice. So what you choose and what you create, the change in itself is the result of your choices. Through my work, words truly matter. Words make it, uh, such a significant difference, not only in your conscious level, but in your subconscious level. So if we want to shift something and think about something, first we must say, how, do, how does this make me feel? And then how I want to feel. And that's the beginning. So if Christmas is not a good feeling for you, it's valid. But what created this negative feeling if you choose to, you can create a new uh, feeling and by your thoughts, by your chain, by your choices, shift, edit, and change that feeling. Now, by saying that, the topic is between the self-esteem and confidence, right? A lot of people feel blocked. A lot of feel, a lot of, uh, and let me ask you this. Do you feel as if you want to do something? You think about it, you choose it, and you want to create it and make that change, but you feel stuck as if you are not moving forward and you have all the confidence in the world and you say, this is what I want to do. And you start and you go halfway or you go 80% and you drop it or you don't finish. You don't go past that finish line. Some call it self-sabotage. Some call it, I don't have the, uh, the means to it. I don't know how to do it. I am all confident, I make decisions, but I don't finish it. Just this weekend, I did a two day intensive breakthrough. I mean, it. it's a breakthrough that it was from seven o'clock in the morning until three in the afternoon with only half an hour break to have a break to eat something, drink something, and go to the restroom and come back. Now, why is that intensive training very good? The same way as when my clients come here, hypnosis is so relaxing, it's so wonderful, and yet the therapy itself can be intensive. Because in order for us to break through anything, we need to focus and zoom in. Sometimes we don't even know that we are lacking something, and yet it's possible that whatever it is that you do, you continuously do the same thing and see the same results. What does that mean? That means whatever you are doing, that block, that hindrance, and it can be so subtle. I mean it, it's so subtle. It's not because of your choices, it's because something quite deeper, deeper within you, in your subconscious, in your programming, that it's holding you back. Confidence means that you have all the confidence to speak it, to be it, to perform, to do, you do your work, you have the confidence to move forward, all of that. But if there is a deeper 
root lacking something from the root from the basics and i mean it from the bottom of my heart it's the self-esteem and what it means is that you don't believe you are worthy or enough or you don't believe that you have the support that you're constantly seeking a validation and that's the part that I work with that's the part that through certain techniques and what I say is through my own transformation I have been doing this work for 20 years but it's through my own transformation and peeling away layers of emotional pain and trauma that I now teach individuals either one-on-one -on -one or in group how to recognize what is standing their way but then is making the choice to change it and that you do it I only guide you so that you can become healthier so that you can become with more joy so you bring into your world and into your life exactly what you want now how many of you feel as if no matter what you do it's not happening come on share with me hello emil hi karine i have been home for three months but i go for walks and socialize through facetime and messenger awesome and you also teach and so what is it that you believe is standing in your way and i'm not talking about covid i'm not talking about you going out but standing in your way of achieving the things that you want or creating the things that you want in your life that no matter what you do you feel like you are stuck and it can be success it can be relationship working with someone who said I grew up in a household that from the time that I was nine years old they gave me a glass filled with vodka and no wonder I became an adult and had a bottle of vodka every day and I am surprised that I am even alive today that this person happens to be a very successful business person that if you didn't know from the outside oozes confidence oozes success that comes home every night feeling empty feeling alone feeling unwanted so it's not necessarily hack a uh, jackal and hackle but it's that what is projected is not what he is what he feels what he needs so through our sessions he's discovered to appreciate who he is that the vodka and that glass is not necessarily his buddy system because he feels shame he feels depleted he feels a fraud now it could be if you resonate with this or you know of someone with this and this is exactly when I talk and share and help my clients with 
in order for us to make any change in life is first to come, first you choose to change your life, to change a pattern, to change what is it that you want, not what you don't want in your life, but what is it that you want? What is it that you want to feel? Where do you see your life? And what is it that you want to create? Once we have that part, excuse me, let me place this on mute. Once we have that part, it's so much better perspective of where you can start. That's together, that's what we do. We begin to peel away. We start with the confidence so that you feel there is more hope. You feel the hope. You want the joy. You want to become healthier. You want to become stronger and you want to like yourself. See, if we don't like ourselves, if we don't feel proud of who we are, it doesn't matter what other, others do or others say, because it feels a lot of people can turn around and say, you are beautiful. But if you're not feeling beauty from inside, you don't feel worthy to be called beautiful, that's the lack that we work with so you can feel it and become it and live it. So it's the self-esteem that has to become stronger. The self-esteem of who you are to say, I truly deserve this. The success. I deserve the love. I deserve to be loved because I am loving. I am lovable. And then have the confidence to show up, to speak up. That's what my book is all about, the stand up to slim down. Yes, it is about a workbook so you can peel away the emotional eating and it's not what you eat, but what's eating at you. So you can recognize it. And sometimes we can talk about it, but not really know it until you start writing it, until you start doing the work. And through the work that I do with my clients, with you, is to slowly and gently and lovingly and yet firmly begin to have that platform, to platform in a support space with me that I guide you and protect you so you can peel away. To see it, to feel it, to recognize the best part of you because that's what it is. It's all within you, right? Heal within is to recognize it's all inside you. But you have the gifts, you have the means, you have the know-how, you have the talent, all of it. Except you haven't put it all together. So we link it. And how I say it, let's peel it away so that you can begin the healing from the inside out. So you can shine, so you can blossom to the best version of who you are. So in a way, it's putting a legacy, a legacy of who you are. The best way, instead of being, you know, all the work that we do is about you, right? But it's not me, 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 because it's by serving, it's by giving, it's by helping that, that we feel better. But first, we also have to help ourselves. 
you know, the oxygen goes on. Uh, I, I made a joke the other day and it, it's not a joke. I have a friend of mine who put on Facebook a picture of him being on the plane with a mask on. And I'm thinking this is a whole new world that we walk around with the masks on and then you would sit in the plane with a mask on but it's this mask for oxygen that we all are also seeking when they say look the first thing that you have to do is put the mask on so we put the oxygen mask on top of the mask that we are protecting our nose and our mouth right so we're breathing how to, how do you do that you must take that mask off and in a way that's what we are doing through the work that i do i help you take this mask this what we project outside you pr take that off temporarily when you are doing your own work in the privacy of your home in the privacy of my office confidence is built self-esteem having that self-esteem the value the worth for yourself and no matter where we grow up we can blame and there is a lot of blame. As children, we blame and we learn how to blame. You know, the worst part that I know and I have seen, even as a kid, you see it all the time. Parents do this. Do you love your mommy more or do you love your daddy? Wow. No child needs to make that kind of a decision. No child needs to be taught those words. Both parents are to love. And a child, hopefully growing up in a household with two parents, needs to feel love and be loved by both parents and not choose. Believe it or not, as we grow older, we can make our own decisions. And this is what happens. Unfortunately, children until the age of eight or nine, although they understand it, they feel it, they are not savvy enough to make a decision. And that egging is not proper for a child that wants to love both or wants to love and be loved. Ask any baby, look at any baby. They giggle from the bottom of their heart, right? They cry as loud as possible because they have absolutely no filter. When they love, they fully love. And when they're crying, they're crying fully from the bottom of their heart because that's how they express. As we grow older, we become numb. We put so many filters, so many masks on, so much to protect ourselves. And it comes to a point that we become so numb, not knowing what are we protecting ourselves from. So if you believe that there is something that you want to achieve, either in body and or in physically, mentally, emotionally, you want to achieve being the best at whatever. Hypnosis is a way that we tap into your subconscious mind and open this file, right? Open this file 
And just like a computer that has a chip and everything stored in the motherboard, we click and do a search for that one file and bring out that file and look through it. Just read through that file. And if we see that there is a block, then we see that there is something that it's off, either uh, physical pain, emotional pain, or even a mental block, right? It's so easy and gently and lovingly we go and edit. Edit the foundation, the programming. And release the blame, the hurt, the shame, and guilt for that one subject. If you have been holding on to weight, if you are still smoking, we can stomp on that smoking because we are not born smokers. And you know what? A lot of people say, I have all the confidence that I can do this. And kudos to you. But I want you to feel worthy that you can remain a non-smoker, that you can remain a non-drinker, you can remain and have this wonderful balance in weight. So you are no longer doing this yo-yo weight. I hope this resonates. If it does, by all means, just go hashtag one. If it resonates with you, hashtag one. If it is you or someone you know that you think may benefit from the work that I am doing, even today, right before we finish, I'm going to give you a gift. A gift. Hello, Ruth. Mm, love you, woman. Oh, you are an inspiration. You know, Hi, Annette John. How are you? Fear of change. A change. How can we fear change when every single day we go through change, right? Except what we fear is not change. It's a very specific thing. And yet we generalize it by calling it fear of change. Because fear in itself, we know it's called false emotions appearing real. It's not reality. It is not happening now. Even a person who has gone through very, very hard times, and the worst is like not even molestation, if they have been raped or something such traumatic has happened in their life. I mean, how can it be worse than foster children who have been abused in foster care or their home and they are in that system right now? That is traumatic. But that fear is not happening at this very moment. And that's why hypnosis and hypnotherapy or another, the te different techniques that I use is help them understand today is the reality. So what we do is evoke, evoke what it was. That means recognizing the history Open that file, open that book, open that part of your life, knowing that it is not happening right here, right now. And then modify the feelings connected to that fear, connected to that moment. And we put it, heal it lovingly, put it out of order. So no matter what triggers it, it's not triggering you today at this very moment. Then you embrace everything right here, right now. Become This becomes your reality. Everything that you are feeling, the fear, it's not then, it is now. You focus on it and you lovingly shift it. Because what you want, the success that you want, recognizing that you are worthy. And until that self-esteem is not healed, 
awesome because no matter what how much confidence we have we somewhere somehow revert and we don't own it and i want you to own it because you deserve it because you are gifted because you are worthy self-sabotage exactly another person hi harry john how are you hello adrian and that's hello yes number one thank you everything that we do is to help evolve to the best version of what we want growing up as children here's my question to you growing up as a child what is it that you wanted truly what is it that you wanted in your life what did you see yourself the person who lacks self-esteem is because sometimes they do something and then they back down they back down during a disagreement or they back down thinking that, you know what, I don't want to start an argument. You know, I'll walk away, that walking away or they're unable to leave the house without makeup. It's like the world cannot see me as I am. So I have to put this perfect mask on. I have to look perfect. My house has to be perfect. Everything in has to be in order. And that's why folks who say I have OCD, I say it's not an obsessive compulsive disorder, but it is an obsessive controlling order that has, it's now gone out of alignment because it's an internal this connection that you constantly want to bring it in order but the only way you do it is by doing it here whereas it's internal and once you feel in order from the inside the outside automatically drops into a, a better i was going to say finer if that is a word, it is a finer being. Afraid to contribute their own opinion, voice their opinion. And that comes from lack of self-esteem. Or there is ones who are constantly talking, talking, talking. They cut in, in, in other people's conversation to be heard, to be seen. Right? So if we peel away that and you get to sit back and say, I can hold space for others as I honor this space. And I can contribute into the conversation. So all those small little minute ways are signs that something for you to work on even if it is not with me find the avenue the place to heal within and for today i would love to gift you something if you text 818 two two one two seven nine seven with the word confidence i'll be more than happy to gift you my hypnosis audio recording to boost your self confidence and self-esteem or you can always message me and make an appointment come in for a consultation you know i'm always here for you would love to speak with you and explore to see how I can help you or someone that you know that may need help. Yes, I specialize in women's wellness and health, and yet we see children, we see men, doesn't matter. 
I'm here to help you become the best version as you. Because you do matter. Again, text the word confidence to 818-221-2797 and we will be more than happy to send you my audio recording. It's a half an hour audio recording for self-confidence. And I want you to know the best way is for you to handle genuine, genuine compliments and say thank you. Virginia, good afternoon, dear. Oh, Virginia, John, uh, after this session, I'm going to call you. I called you in the morning and then I remembered you are in your master, whatever. And then at 12 o'clock, you do your own thing. So this afternoon, after one o'clock, I'm going to call you. Seda John, it is how to peel away shyness. It's by learning how to stand up for yourself. Actually, you are very vocal, Seda. And I wanted to travel. Awesome, Karine. I, then I think in a few months you can travel. Uh, just remember, you have to be masked up. So I hope today's message was beneficial to you. And I want you to know that with the grace of God, I want you to remember you are a child of God. And you are worthy of so much more in life. So let's do this. Until next week, call me. You can text. You can schedule a 30-minute exploration, 20-minute exploration consultation with me free of charge. Just go to wehealwithin.com or healwithin.com. You can find me everywhere. You can find me on Facebook. You can even message me. And I am here for you. God bless you. And may the universal light surround you. Until next week, see ya. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.